Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So here, this is the format of the single position floating point number as per this IEEE standard. So as per this format, here we have been given the four options. And here, out of the given four options, we have been asked to find which one of the following is the largest floating point number. So here, if you see this single position format, then as per this IEEE standard, it is represented in the 32 bits. So out of the 32 bits, the 1 bit is reserved for the sign bit, while the next 8 bits are reserved for the exponent. And then after, the remaining 32 bits represents the mantisa part. And here, this exponent part is also biased exponent. That means in the actual exponent value, the bias of the plus 127 is added. And then after, this exponent is represented. So here, for the 8 bits, the exponent can vary from the 0 to 255. But out of all these values, the exponent value of all zeros and the all ones is reserved for the special numbers. So here in this given four options, if you see the option C, then it represents the NN. That means it is the not a number. Because here, if you see the exponent value, then it is all ones. And the mantisa part is also all ones. So as per this IEEE standard, when the exponent is all ones and the mantisa part is other than all zeros, then that represents the nn, like 0 by 0 or infinite by infinite. So we can say that this option c is the nn or that is not a number. So if we discard this option c, then we will have the three options. And out of the three options, if you see, then this option b has the largest exponent. So here in this b option, the value of the exponent is equal to 254 while for the option a and the option c the exponent value is equal to 127 so here the larger the value of the exponent the larger will be the number and just by looking at the exponent we can say that the option b represents the largest number but here for the sake of completeness let us also find the actual number that is represented by this 32 bit format and first let us see the option A. So as I said in this option A, the value of the exponent is equal to 127. But here, this exponent is the biased exponent. That means to find the actual exponent, we need to subtract the 127. So after subtracting, if you see the actual exponent value, then that is equal to 0. Or we can say that the exponent value is equal to 2 to the power 0. So now, if we see the actual normalized number in a binary form, then that is equal to 1 dot this mantisa part followed by this exponent. That means the given number is a 1 dot followed by the 23 ones. So similarly, now let us see the option B. So in this option B, the value of the exponent is equal to 254. So if we subtract the bias, then the actual exponent value is equal to 127. Or we can say that the exponent is equal to 2 to the power 127. So now, if we see the actual exponent, then that is equal to 1 dot followed by this 23 ones times 2 to the power 127. So this is the actual binary number that is being represented by this 32 bit number. And here, since the exponent is 2 to the power 127, so this number is the very large. Similarly, now let us see the option D. So once again over here, the value of the exponent is equal to 127. And if we subtract the bias, then the actual exponent value is equal to 0. That means here, the exponent part is equal to 2 to the power 0. So now, if we see the actual normalized number, then that is equal to 1 dot followed by this mantisa part times 2 to the power 0. Or we can say that the given number is equal to 1. So as you can see, here the option A is equal to 1 dot followed by this 23 ones times 2 to the power 0. Likewise, this exponent b is equal to 1 dot followed by this 23 ones times 2 to the power 127. Well, this option c is the not a number and this option d is equal to 1. So as you can see from the given four options, this option b is the largest number and therefore this B is the correct answer.